So this is pretty much what <laughs> heaven looks like to me. I have been a long time viewer of these closet videos and I never thought I would get to, to actually do one, so I'm excited. The one that immediately got my eye and that I feel like I have to take is a good Australian classic, Breaker Morant. A great war film, also a great uh, courtroom drama. And this is one that I appreciated much more as I grew older because we used to watch it at school a lot. And at first I was like, oh, it's just a, a boring war movie. But the more that I watch it, the more I get from it. And particularly having such great Australian actors like Brian Brown and Jack Thompson. So that's going in the bag. Oh, what else do we have here? I know that probably a million people talk about a race ahead, but this was my first experience of David Lynch and I was probably way too young <laughs> to see it. Freaked me out. I couldn't quite wrap my head around what was going on, but to me it was one of the gateways into this whole world of art house film. Just having that idea of there are other things besides Hollywood movies and the fact that movies don't always have to make you feel a certain way, like a feel good, um, it can make you feel confused and also maybe a little bit sick too. So I'm going to take that one. It's got nostalgic value. So this was actually the first ever Criterion Collection DVD that I got in Australia. And I had built up a pretty good collection in Australia and then I had to sell everything when I moved to America because I only took two suitcases to come here. So uh, this is my favourite Kira Kurosawa film. I think it's one of his most watchable. If you've never seen Kurosawa, of course you guys all have, but for people who've never been introduced to him, I often cite this film because it's such a human story. It's also a good Christmas tale, almost like A Christmas Carol, um, and just such a beautiful way of looking at life and someone's impact on other people's lives after their death. So I'm going to take that so I can start my new collection. Lady Snowblood, yes, such a cool film. Um, I remember seeing this on the big screen uh, in Australia. I think I was in Canberra when I was a teenager and walking out wanting to be an assassin with a sword. She is just awesome. Weekend, Jean-Luc Godard. Uh, <laughs> morbid, dark, really great satire um, and one of the best like long tracking shots I've seen in a film. Biggest car accident that I've seen in a film. Um, also has that very stylish feel of Jean-Luc Godard, but post-apocalyptic movie that takes really unexpected turns. Love Weekend. Bit of Gilda. Love Rita Hayworth, and she's someone who, the more that I read about her background and things that I never knew when I watched her films when I was younger, it makes me kind of sad for her, and I think Gilda is one of those movies where she could obviously relate to the character because she is kind of portraying this goddess character and she's really insecure on the inside. And so when I watch it now, I see the real Rita beneath the Gilda. But obviously I was inspired by her with the, the red hair. Here's Girl Friday. Classic screwball comedy, of course. This in particular, I remember watching this when I was really young and this is one of the, the examples I always cite of how representation is important because seeing Rosalind Russell as a reporter, I just remember so distinctly watching it and thinking, oh, I could be like Hilde Johnson. Ugh. One last Australian film from 1970s, Walkabout, uh, a very dark movie, one by Nicholas Rogue who was British uh, but he really managed to capture Australian Outback perfectly. All right, I think I'm pretty good. I think I can take this on the plane with me. Just now I'm building up my new collection. <laughs> Thanks guys.